Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode, where last time we won again with the Zoltan A with the large mouth, continuing my perfect streak, even on hard, of Zoltan ships that are not in a challenge run. But we're going to be doing a new run today. I unlocked two ships last time. One was the Mantis A. We will revisit that one later. Because I'm getting a new ship today, and that is the Kuros, the Lanius A, a ship that I have played before, actually, the if you saw prior videos of the postscript of it, the first ship that I beat hard on. So we're going to be just uh, playing this one, I don't know, just kind of, it's it's an interesting ship to me and I want to tell you why, obviously because I'm here. The Ion Center and Chain Laser are two new weapons, it also starts with the Clone Bay. So this is really a quintessential advanced edition ship, it does have all kinds of advanced features. You also notice two of the rooms have no air, that's because we have CY Hang and Zemu who are Lanai's people, these anaerobic beings seem friendly enough because they drain oxygen from rooms and they have slow movement with no damage from lack of oxygen. So that's nice. This is an interesting ship with a pretty good starting loadout. The ion stunner is great both for because it's ion damage and because it stuns. It also comes with emergency respirators. I think those are probably okay to sell, but we're going to be going for some achievements because I do want to unlock the uh, Lanai B. Let's just take a look at the nice art here. You can tell this is a second edition ship because the uh, graphics fidelity is much improved. But the three the three things here, first we have advanced mastery, have hacking mind control, and battery active all at once. That's pretty easy to get. You just got to go to stores and get it. And you can see that the ship starts with hacking and that is a thing of beauty. Now you do possibly fly through drones as a result of it, but hacking is great. So you do need to pick up mind control and a battery backup, which I do feel dumb for not realizing that I could have gotten the Zoltan achievement if I had bought a backup battery, but hey, whatever. That's the last run. Second is Scrap Hoarder, and this reminds me of some of the people on Reddit that I've seen that have done uh, scrap hoarding challenges. Have at least 600 scrap in your ship storage. That would be hilarious to do on hard mode. Don't think it's going to be quite feasible. Loss of cabin pressure. Get to sector 8 with your ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20 uh, without or without your ship's net oxygen levels exceeding after 20%. Starts after the first jump. So we're going to be playing the Breathless today, and that name is a clue that we are actually going to be draining the air out of this ship. And you can see how quickly and how merciless the vacuum of space is. Because we are going to be draining as much air as possible. And it seems like some of these rooms are really draining almost instantly, as if hard mode is supposed to be a little more difficult in that regard. Now, unfortunately, what this does mean is that I will have a uh, tougher time with borders if they try and go somewhere. Manning the doors is not going to be as effective. But you know what? I also have no air. Right now we're at oxygen 6. If I get some more crew, I can have them man some other rooms and some other stations. Would love to have boarding crew. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and get this one started. I almost think that I don't need to power the clone bay right away because we don't have people dying. But let's see how this run goes. It could go great. It could go terrible. It's FTL. You never really know. But let's go and get started. I love hacking early. Two fuel for four missiles is a terrible trade. Especially when you start with no missile weapons. Even though I have three missiles, so that's not awful. Now let's hear what first seems like a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Let's investigate the battlefield and we get some scrap and some fuel. Not much else, but still early returns on early rewards, not too bad. And I apologize if my voice is a little weird, I actually am getting over a uh, laceration is in my mouth as weird as it sounds, so opening and closing my mouth is a little funky right now, but it actually does help to talk and move my mouth instead of sitting here and doing nothing, so as weird as that sounds. Now this is the, the useful materials waiting for the FTL drive. This is the uh, uh, Crystal Crew event, and we got nothing for it. So we didn't get hull damage. And there is a store right there. I would really love to get in some fights before the store. If at all possible. But still, even though we've had a peacemongering run, this is okay so far. But there we go. Attack the pirate. Now we're now we're getting started. Now they start with an ion weapon too. Which is a little annoying. So do I want to hack here? I don't think I need to hack is the thing. So we're going to try and avoid hacking for now. Now this is a chain laser. It fires faster. Two shots per charge. And it keeps, and as it fires more, you'll see that it fires faster up to the point of eventually doing five shots at a time. That ion was a really well aimed place on my engines, but not too bad. At least right now, I should be able to repair everything in time. Poor Zemu's taking damage, but keep in mind, the cloning bay means that he is just going to be doing his thing. Now, one challenge that you do have with the cloning bay, as you may have seen in a prior video, 
a strategy that I like to do is just to kill my crew off when they're at low health. Uh, Lanias, for obvious reasons such as they don't require air, are actually pretty difficult to kill off. So you can't always, as I'm not even... should really be auto-firing my weapons. That's a pretty terrible attempt at compensating me for this. And see, so you don't need to use your drones right now, but yeah. Kind of three or four thoughts at once, but the long and short is pretty simple. Is that Lanias, they're very good in a lot of ways, and boarding this is going to be dangerous or kind of crappy for people, but... Yeah. Almost could be worthwhile to have somebody manning the doors, as really, they are dodging all over the place. It's not the fastest fight in the world. It could be faster if I wanted to use a drone. But we are on hard, so I do need to save my resources as much as possible. 19 scrap and then an additional 9, so we are good to go at the store. And we do have a nebula to run through. This could be a very productive sector one. Could be. Of course, we have to get through this fight first, and this guy's trying to run away, so this could be a little bit more of a challenge. In fact, what I'm probably going to do is I am going to hack, and I'm going to hack... I guess I can hack their piloting, just to try and make sure that I do actually hit them. Yeah, I think that's going to be the uh, I think that's going to be the right move here, because hacking drones amazingly don't miss. And I could hack their weapons to try and slow this down. Those are going to fire at around the same time. That may have been a better option, but okay. So my, oh damn it, really? My hacking's down. Okay, well we're not doing that now. Let's do this the old-fashioned way then. Fortunately, fire is not going to be an issue, and I can just repair. These shields up. Well, not in time, but doable. So FTL charging yet again. I really would prefer them to not jump away. Would really prefer them to not do that. So let's see here. Hacking back online. So as soon as I have a shot that looks like it's going to fire, there we go. They can't dodge. And the chain laser's just going to go to town now. Wow, that's interesting. I thought for sure hacking their... Uh, I guess the hack must have just worn off. There we go. Now they're getting screwed. So I may be able to hack in time in just a second. Yeah, because their weapons are firing. And please don't hit heavy laser. Okay, so they are aiming for my hacking. That's smart. That's where I really like the uh, advanced edition AI. Please don't jump. Come on, there we go. Whew. A little closer than it should be because I stopped paying attention. But right there, more scrap. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to the store. Just because 74 scrap is enough to do a lot. And if I need to get level 2 shields, I can't. So let's see here. Hull laser 2, flat cannon. Um, more crew. I think the answer here is pretty obvious about what I'm going to be doing. And that is selling... Well, I don't even need to sell the emergency respirators yet. But I feel like it's probably a good idea. Half crew damage from low oxygen. We're going to see if we can do a low oxygen run. If it's great, great. If it's not, it's not. Whole laser 2 is okay, but it takes 3 power. It is one of my favorite weapons. It's just one that I don't often have a chance to run. Flak 1, on the other hand, well, you've seen... In other runs, what that one can do to the point where maybe it is a good idea for me to... I'm one short on upgrading my weapon power. And there's a distress beacon that I should be able to reach. Assuming it doesn't kill one of my crew, I'm going to be careful with my crew right here, I think. Nope, it's a trap. Almost prefer that. Okay, well... Question now is, do I use the chain laser or do I use the ion stunner? I think I'm still going to use the ion stunner because the chain laser is going to ramp up eventually but I am going to hack their weapon system. Don't need to hack every time, and actually the flat cannon is going to reduce the amount of time I need to hack. And yes, I could be using my hotkeys to hack, 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 hackity hack, to stop their stuff from firing, and that would be really nice. I'd love to stop their missile launcher, but considering that's pr probably... Oh, wow, stop their missile launcher, so that's probably a dual laser. Yep. A dual laser in my weapon system. Now, that does suck, but... At least it took out the Iron Stunner and not the Chain Laser, which means the Chain Laser gets to keep firing, gets to keep taking out systems. I guess my next priority is going to be level 2 shields, because apparently 15% evasion is not enough. And I really could be actually, I don't know, using the hacking module that I have, is now my oxygen is depleting quite a bit. In fact, now that I don't have emergency respirators, maybe I should consider repairing my oxygen real quick. So what do we got? 
And I know some of you may say it's silly for me to just attack that sis or attack the system here that I'm currently hacking, especially since it reactivated the missile. But I should be able to take it out in time. Plus that NG's got to be hurting just a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we are going to get missiled here. That sucks. 10% of aid. Maybe that's better than 15% of aid. No, it's not. And they're hitting me in the weapon system again. AI, you are so smart. Oh, why am I not hacking? Oh, that was close. Alright, so now he's... Oh, it's on fire. That's what I was hoping for. Because now that poor NG's dead. And I really should have attacked that. I'm not going to accept surrender. I've taken enough damage in this fight. Wow, there's a miss. Okay. So that weapon system's gone. Wow, they have two more crew. Maybe I should just let the ship burn. I don't think they're going to be able to get that in time. Maybe they will. I don't know, but anyway, they're they're one shot away. I want to see if this burns them out. Okay, it didn't burn them out. So they're going to die. Yay, explosions. And extra scrap is good. Do I upgrade my shields right now? Probably not. Probably need to upgrade a... Uh, well, I could go for flat cannon chain laser and be a total gunboat here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Would be five scraps short of doing that comfortably. And one thing that the, is a weakness, I guess you could hear me bitch about a little bit, if you want to call it that, is that the Lanais does start with a meager five evade because or natural evade from engines so all my stealth glory is not really what I'm used to here you just hit him in the face no one hails your ship let's go down here we're gonna go through as many jumps as possible I'm gonna try and make this a really productive sector one would love to actually fight somebody else here probably safer to jump here because I can probably still hit the other nebula down below but at least Sai Hang Get some recovery here. We're intruders on board, and this is what I was talking about before. Just in terms of actually controlling people to the point where maybe Gumpo's gonna die. I don't know. Where are my intruders right now? They're going for the room with air. Alright, well. I know how we'll do this one. Since we have no upgraded doors right now, maybe doors would be a good thing to upgrade here. And still I'm at 3% oxygen. And they actually did take out my piloting. That's a little bit of a pisser because that's hull damage that I didn't need to take. I guess I could close this door. Yeah, they're going to die from not breathing. You picked the wrong ship to board, buddy. So intruders detected. Let's see here. Go ahead and repair this room. The micro cloning will save you. Because that's what clone bays do. They heal on every jump. So I guess I could keep the door room open too. Although for some reason there's no air in there. There we go. So poor Gumpo took a lot of damage there. And he actually has very little piloting experience. I guess I'm not taking a lot of hits. Alright, Ion Storm! What do we got? Intru oh my god, an Ion Bomb and Intruders on board. That's like a... Uh... That's nice. Now, I could dump Gumpo out into space right now. I guess it's probably smarter for me to do this. I have an Ion Bomb, so I don't really need the Ion Center. In fact, Chain Laser, Flat Gun, Ion Bomb, Ion Center might be enough to win the game here. I don't know for sure. But we'll see. If you guys really want to engage me in the engines, that's fine. You're going to die, and that's okay. If you want to play it that way, you can. Oh, wow, now they're going for my door control. How cute. Oh, well, let's send you back to the cockpit. We'll send you all down here. Probably not going to intercept in time. But yeah, Gumpo's just going to die. And you know what? That's okay. Because we have the clone bay powered up. Probably don't even need my weapons powered right now. Could just power the oxygen in a second. Because the last thing we really want is for him to come back and be dead again. So the intruders are dead. Cloning! All kinds of ethical considerations about cloning someone who's dead to come straight back to life like this. Memory transfer? I don't know. Is it an EVE Online scenario where you're immortal and this is what you sign up for? Look, he lost some piloting that he didn't really have. So, lots of considerations. But, more important thing for now is that we are here. And I do need to keep my uh, O2 down, but I should be able to make this jump and the exit just fine. 
So it's a good start. Got plenty of upgrades I can make. So your broadcasting part markings are be nearby moon. Claim to have equipment available for sale. Hail! We have extended some stock on board in Sierra Wares. Dock with the ship. This seems dangerous. Leave or hacking. Disable their weapon system before docking. You receive a hail as soon as you're hacking some division. What have you done? You can never trust Federation ship. Here, take your standard toll. I really should do business elsewhere, scum. Aw. So maybe he was going to sell. I don't know, but too late now. Let's go to the exit. There's a lot of things I can power up here. So we'll go to the next sector and see if there's a store nearby. Uncharted Nebula or Civilian Sector. We're going to go with the Nebula. I want to get a lot of early jumps. If I can. So there's probably not a store right nearby. There is a Distress Beacon, so we'll do that. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, up Shields. And I know, I was just saying before, that the lack of Evade is an Achilles heel on this ship. That's true. But... That's something that's fixable over time. And I know I said I want extra jumps, but I do want to hit this distress beacon. Sometimes it's a ship, sometimes it's an encounter. Hail them for assistance and try and shield their ship with yours. And they're dead. That's not good. But you know what? They didn't give us a crew transporter. That's all the other types of ships. All right, selling missiles. That's good. Now that does limit my ion bomb usage, but I'm not going to be using an ion bomb for a while so I should be able to amass enough missiles. The 15 scrap would have probably been better invested right here right now so that I can actually have my hacking powered. And with level 2 shields I do need to increase my uh, dodge chance some but next upgrade is likely going to be weapon control. So just flying through the sector all of a sudden just all these jumps down the 6 fuel really need to get into some encounters. Open fire we don't have a choice that's a lot of lasers. Looks like they're going to be boarding me too so this is going to be funny in just a second. What should I hack here? Probably should just hack the weapons. Could hack their med bay. That'd be a lot of fun for the whole family. And they're in my shield room. That's fun. And they're not in my shield room. Okay. Did they just really board me with one guy? That's unfortunate. Hackity hack! What do I keep saying? I should use the hotkeys for these things and then I don't use the hotkeys for these things. Okay, so their weapon's on fire. That's a good start. Take out their piloting. Am I getting attacked here again? It sounds like it, but I don't know what they're hitting. Or somebody trying to hack into the weapons room. That's probably that's what it looks like right there. So they're they're not going to be in a happy place in just a second here, especially if I uh, fire on the med bay or something. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like fire should be spreading across the ship if it's exploding that quickly. Let's see here. Maybe I can take them out. It's entirely possible that I kill them with these. Oh, and let's let the fire do its thing. And let's ion stun this room instead. Because now they're trying to leave. And they're dead. Yay, and I now the ship has been emptied of hostiles. Your search eventually find a prisoner who offers to join the crew. Now that's cute because he was... And a ship that's on fire. And I'm almost debating. Is it more important that I have somebody manning shields or manning doors? Right now this does put me at 13% oxygen or so. You know what? I think it is actually more important considering borders and where I am to put this person on doors. I mean he's only human so there we go. Free door upgrade. 13% oxygen. I can upgrade probably man somebody in shields and that's about it. Unless I can find more Linnaeus which would be pretty awesome. Still, though, five fuel, kind of a dicey situation here. So attack the pirates, and oh, look at looky there! Somebody is mind controlled. So what do we do? I think we hack the mind control system. I don't think we have much of a choice. They cannot actually hurt us. All right, so let's go ahead and just hack that. Oh, never mind that. Okay, so that not only cancels that mind control. It mind controls them. That is a uh, fun extra feature. So I guess that only lasts a little while. The more important part is that it puts it on cooldown. So let's take out the uh, weapon system first. Their pike beam is not is going to tickle my shields, but not much else. I think flat cannon is the way to go here. Okay, definite next target is uh, this thing, the little swirly thing. Iron stunner needs to be auto firing. That's for sure. But yeah, the Linnaeus is a fun ship. I like it. I like that it starts with hacking. 
Yeah, that's not gonna... You're not gonna be able to mind control me like that. In fact, I should probably take out their piloting, because once again, they cannot penetrate my two shields. If I had someone manning shields, that could level them up, but they're not going anywhere, so... If they do happen to repair the system, they actually have to break into the door to do that. Uh, it's a pathetic offer. Let's see here. They're, they're trying to leave, or they have nobody in there right now. They're just dead. Okay, so one more, and that person got stunned. This should be it. Curtains for you. Yay. And you do find a functioning... What? Oh, find functioning drone parts. So, not a lot. Just something. There's a store. Do I have things to sell at the store? I don't know unless I want to sell one of my weapons, but I really like the weapons that I have. So it may be fuel time at the store, depending on other ships that I fight. And it's trying to run away. So what am I going to... It doesn't have shields. So what am I going to eye on here? Probably eye on its... Uh, let's see here. If we hack this... And if we ion this, and if we chain laser this, we'll try and get it all in time. And go. FTL charge is delayed. Said I'm just trying to prevent as much as possible it leaving. Now it is definitely delayed. And this ship cannot hurt me. Unless bad things happen while cloaking. Other nice thing about hacking is that you can see the repair progress. And the auto repair for these ships is probably stronger than it is in other difficulties, but it still is early. So it's probably super slow. So that's dead. This is no longer a threat. I do have 12 drone parts. I don't need to hack every time. But so far I've been over hacking and been able to survive it. So that's okay. But I do think it is a... There's a lot of things I want to spend scrap on, man. But I'm not going to sell the Ion Bomb and I'm not going to sell the Ion Stunner yet. Because I want there to be a better option for me. So we'll go, actually we can go here, here, and then store. And hopefully not screw ourselves. Alright, another fight. No, it's just intruders. That's a little annoying. What other rooms do we have intruders in? Looks like we have intruders in here. What fun is that? I guess it's fun enough. Let's run you away. Yeah, I'll run you over here. I'll run you down here because you know what? If they're going to try and take out my doors, they're going to have a bad time. Because they have no air. You went on the Breathless. You went on the ship that has nothing. And in fact, I almost hope that you kill Zemu here. But you're not going to, so... Back to stations, that means your station is the airless door room. Might as well save that. And yeah, Zemo's health may be low, but he'll heal up eventually. 40 scrap. Once again, the unfortunate thing is you get no scrap for that, but what can you do? I have three thingies. Alright, so I'm going to attack the automated ship because this the other one's are non-combat options. And it looks like this one's not trying to run away, so maybe I can avoid hacking here. Although it probably would be prudent for me to hack their weapons, so I'm going to do that. I do have 13 drone parts, and you don't get to take those home with you. Believe it or not, you don't, so... And we're not too worried about the uh, dual laser there. We're cons more concerned with the bombs, so we want to get maximum value out of that hack. In fact, I probably should be, uh... Okay, well, it's not gonna miss now. So that's something. Unfortunately, it looks like we are gonna get bombed once because I misplayed this. Yay! Ion bomb! Not to the shields. Ion bomb to the hacking system. If there are systems that I do not mind them ion bombing, it is definitely the hacking system right now, especially since I got a hack off and all that. Now I don't want them to ion bomb the shields. I'm a little curious because usually they just auto aim for that. But hey. Not too much to it. What are you going to ion bomb now? You're going to ion bomb a room that has nothing in it. Thanks game. Yeah, I, I should get some more firepower here. You're dead. More scrap. More fuel would be fantastic for 
And three fuel, two missiles and stuff. That's good. Like I said, if I have an early ion bomb, so missiles would actually be really nice. I did sell the ones before for 15 because that's worth it. Uh, med bay cloaking or backup battery. Now I can buy the backup battery and uh, go for the achievement here. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's get it. Why not? I could probably use the excess power in just a little bit. Okay, so we do have 27 scrap. And that doesn't do me a ton. But all I have to do is now get mind control at the same time as these other two things, and we can make that work. Now, right now, it doesn't look like I have a lot of use for the backup battery. I will later. But let's go up here. Oh, wait, we need fuel before we go. Ten fuel should do it. And since repairs are cheap right here, might as well repair up. You're not going to get to repair for much longer. Next upgrade is definitely flak. Chase them, and sensors suck. Okay. At least the Rebel Fleet didn't catch up, so that's a start. Now, I can probably jump here and jump there okay. If I jump here, here, and here, though, I can make some more noise. And it's another Ion Storm. This is where the backup battery is really nice. And it's a defense drone, and it doesn't look like there's a boarding drone coming for me. That's a start. Okay, so... What do we do? What do we do? Well, I don't need to worry about some things just yet. So we'll back up battery the shields at the appropriate time. Let's go ahead and do I hack their oxygen? I feel like I should hack something. Alright. Good enough for me. Hacking weapons is fun. Their shields are down. Now they're putting more power into their weapons. That's cute. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and do this. Backup battery, activate. Yay, extra two power. I guess I should have known. Wow, okay, so. And in case you're wondering what happened there, this is something I encountered a long time ago, and I got an actual answer from the developers what happens there. You saw my shields got up in time, but the laser fire was already inside the shield bubble. The way the collision works in this game is that this outer layer is the shield. So, kind of like as much as you can try and say if FTL were real life. If FTL were real life, and you activated your shields after somebody had already fired inside of your shields, well, you're going to get burned. And that's kind of what happened there. Still, fun times with backup battery. Probably just do this instead. Because their weapons are totally disabled. Their ship is not pleased. And I guess that's a Defense 2 drone. It is it is pointing. And that's a terrible surrender offer. And I'm not getting a lot of hack value because I keep destroying the system that's hacked, but whatever, you're dead. Alright, so, 3 fuel, 17 scrap. That was actually a really nice, that was a really nice one. Okay, so, minimum stuff. Let's go down here. Uh, you know what? That's probably going to put me at odds with the exit as much as that sucks. Because that's going to be one, two, three jumps. So let's jump to the exit. I suck at calculating this, but I don't think it's a safe jump. And nothing here. Yeah, it wouldn't be a safe jump. So next sector, MG Homeworlds or Mantis Controlled. Now this is interesting because if I go down here, I'm pretty much stuck. If I go up here, it's entirely possible that I still could unlock the Crystal Cruiser. I'm going to have more options. So as much as I like fighting the Mantis, and they don't tend to have a lot of missiles, and I'm probably going to get boarded a lot, let's go for the Mantis. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for the Mantis. Could get a Mantis crew member even, but there we go. I'm going to call this a video for now. This is Way to Fail with FTL, Faster Than Light. We're on the Breathless. It's hard, but so far we're doing all right in terms of everything. So I have no complaints. I just need to upgrade my weapons and my engines and everything else and probably put power back in my systems. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.